Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal. And today I'm going to be turning this bottle into a beautiful pearl, lace, and ribbon bottle. So let's get started. I absolutely love decorating bottles, but I wanted to try something a little bit different. So I had looked on Pinterest and I saw some really pretty and very feminine lace bottles. So I have some lace that I had. Um, I mentioned in a previous video that I had done a wedding or helped out with a wedding um, this summer. And I thought that it would be cool to use some of the leftover supplies to do some of my crafts and share with you. So first thing I'm going to do is measure this out. And I had put like one coat of lace on my bottle. And to me, it didn't look as vibrant. But when I overlapped, I could really see the lace coming through on that. So I'm going to do it twice. So I'm just going to measure it out where it wraps around my bottle twice. So I'm just remembering where I am. Okay, so right about there is where it would wrap around about two times. Yep. So I'm just going to cut this off. And so what I'm going to do is use some of my art glitter glue. And I just wasn't sure if I should hot glue it. And then I said, you know what, I'm going to use this because it would dry clear. And I want it to be really I have a real clean finish. So I'm just going to put a line that measures the same height as my ribbon. And I'm just going to kind of press that on just for a moment there. And then once that's on, I'm just going to start rolling it. Just want to make sure that I'm staying at the same point. I kind of want y'all to see this. Just coming around. And just keeping it even around my bottle. And you just want to make sure it doesn't pull off. So I want it to kind of dry first. You want to give it a little bit of time to dry first so it stays on. I'm just going to add a little bit more to secure it. And the lace is really light. So it doesn't take much to hang on. Okay, so I'm just turning it and being careful just to kind of stay so it's nice and even. Okay, so once I have that on, I'm just going to take the other end and I'm going to overlap. And I might, I, I might try Mod Podge also. Sometimes you just have to find what works. So right now this works. So already you've transformed your bottle. So now I'm going to use some ribbon that I had from, from that same wedding. And it's a pretty silk ribbon. And I'm going to put it just right above my bottle there. So it'll have an outline on the lace. To me, it'll bring out the lace even more just to have it there. And it has a nice, elegant look. And then I'm going to put some at the bottom also. 
So this part is not dry yet. So I just kind of want to make sure that I don't smear it. I'm just going to lay this down and measure it around for now. And I probably could have done this beforehand, but that's all right. And this would be lovely for wedding decor. Wedding decor on a budget. Or if you're just like me and you happen to like ribbon and, and lace and pearls. Just gonna put that there. The other one is just gonna come around like that. Okay, and so far so good. And I'm just keeping everything along the seam because I'm going to cover that up. I want that seam covered, so I'm going to do that in a moment. But let me go ahead and cut another piece to cover this bottom part. But I'm already loving the way that looks. I just like the way that cream color looks. Just nice and neat and clean and elegant. And just trying to stay on that same seam here. This will be good for a bridal shower too, especially if you have the bride's um, particular theme that the bride wants or colors. You can do it in whatever colors you want. Okay. Coming around. Just going to cut just a tiny bit off here. Just gluing it on just right there. So that's what it looks like so far. My glue is still wet. But look how pretty that looks already. Okay, now I do have another ribbon. And look how pretty this is. Let me see if you can really see that. It's a very nice lace with just a tiny, tiny hint of gold. And I'm going to take that and wrap it around the tip of my bottle. I think I'm going to do it right here. See if you can see that. Still keeping within that pretty theme with the off-white. Just want to hold it on for a moment so that it can it can dry. And so far, so good. We're moving right along there. And so I could stop right there if I want, but I just can't right now. I've got to keep going. Now I have, um, I did make an embellishment for this and I made it using the same technique, using the little cereal box thing on the back. I'm using that same technique, but I don't want this to show. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some ribbon. like this. So all I'm doing is just kind of curving it around like this. Taking my ribbon and just curving it and putting it like this, folding it in half. And then I could just cut and cut. If I want to do that, that's just another option. You just cut it short to attach it. Or 
I could take this pretty ribbon right here and attach it to the back as well. Just showing you different options. And look how pretty that is. So I could either put it at the top, I could attach it right here. Um, it's just up to you. And I think what I'm going to do, let's see, I'm just going to lay this down. Put this here so it won't move right for right now. Just testing it out to see what it looks like. See, I can put it right here, and that blue won't show through. Or I can do it down further and attach the ribbon further down. That's another option. So let's go ahead and make a decision here. All these ideas are coming into my mind right now. I think what I'm going to do is, this is such a, a beautiful ribbon. And this is actually from Walmart. And I'm not sure, it may have cost maybe a dollar and 99 cents, which is a real bargain for such a pretty ribbon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold it like this. And I'm going to attach it right here. Okay, so. Actually, on this one, I'm going to use my hot glue gun. So just right here where I have the seam. I'm going to just attach it there. And then I'm going to attach my embellishment right here. I'm going to press that on there for a minute. And I am liking that already. Look how pretty that is. Just going to cut the bottom of this so it's a little bit more, a lot more neater. And then I'm going to cut this other side here also. And I'm just having fun making this up as I go along and now if you want you could actually you can actually glue this down if you want so you have options you can glue it down but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pearls and this is not staying down like I want it to so I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue there again let it dry Okay, so I'm going to take these smaller pearls that I had in my stash and I'm going to come straight down to about right here on the end there. And how pretty is that going to be? Look at that. That's going to be real pretty. So from right there, I want to come to right at the bottom edge there. Let's see if I could let you see that. Okay, so I'm just measuring. And I'm going to have to stand this up so you can see, or so I can see what it looks like, just to get that first one on there. Just wanted to make sure this lays down. And I'm just coming right down the center there. And since it's going to be standing up, it doesn't really have to be glued down. If you wanted to just have it hanging like that, you can. But I want it to, to stay still. So I'm going to go ahead and just add small, small dots of glue. It's 
I don't really want it to show. I want it to be very neat. So you want to just take your time with this. And I'm just coming down that seam that we created, going straight down. Okay, and look how gorgeous that is. Really pretty. That can be on a, a bridal table or something. That looks really pretty. Okay, so I've got these white flowers, and this is nice because if you're doing this for a bride, you just use whatever the bridal flowers are, um, and you can make it whatever the bride wants. So what I'm going to do, these are Dollar Tree flowers. And I'm just going to take this part off right here. And let's see. Take more than one off. And so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this and I want to put it like right in the top here. So now you have a nice little flower coming out of the top there. And you can glue it on if you want. You don't have to. But I am going to just put a little bit of glue there. I don't want it to run over, so I just want it to be right on top there. Got my little glue strings on there. And I'm just going to place this right on top. I'm really hoping you can see this on camera because it looks absolutely gorgeous. Then I'm going to take another one and just build on it. See, it still has this on there, but it'll lay right on the top here. So I'm going to just put a dab of glue right on this little part right here. And I'm just going to lay it right there. And it doesn't take a whole lot to hold this on. Like right now it's pretty secure on there. And so now you've got a really pretty embellishment with the bottle. And it looks good. Now I'm just going to put See if I could put a pearl right on the top there. I see a little thing sticking out there, so I'm just going to cover that up by adding a pearl. So I'm just going to use just a dab of hot glue. I'm just going to drop my pearl on there. Do another one. It's all about the details. And I'm just cutting my little string of pearls from here to put it on there. Be careful with the glue gun, please, because uh... so now you're just adding little tiny embellishments. To your creation. So save those wine bottles. There's just so much you can do with them. And I love decorating wine bottles. Yes, yeah, so I'm just kind of putting a few things in there. And you can do as many as you want. Just a cluster of pearls sitting up there. It just ties everything in. And look how pretty that is. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, now I want to show you another one that 
I was playing around with and I used some larger pearls I'm not sure I think I like the smaller ones better but here's another one that I did and so I wanted to create something that was a little bit different but I used larger pearls and I did go around the top the very top with this and to me this reminds me of buttons coming down maybe a bride's dress I don't know what it is about that but to me that's what it what it reminded me of so I'm gonna just go ahead and add a flower to this one too since I really like the way that looks but just be creative there's no mistakes when you're crafting Sometimes we can be so hard on ourselves that we come, become afraid to make anything. But just get started and if you do make a mistake, just do it again or re-glue it or just come back to it later. Just have fun. Okay, I'm just going to kind of sit that right up in there, just like the other one, and let it stick. Hold it down for a minute. These came out a lot better than I thought. And so, well, this is my first attempt at the Pearls Ribbon and Lace Bottles. I'm really happy with the way these came out. And I will go ahead and post pictures for you. And I hope you were inspired by this. If you're planning a wedding, this will be a great, great economical way to really, really add some decoration without breaking the bank. So I hope you were inspired by this. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for joining me. Bye.